Hello dudes. Very quick video. I just wanted to show you my ramp that I made. Um, so recently I've just serviced the NC and the BMW and um, there's always that thing when you're lied scraping around on the floor with a, an oil tray where it just it's just nice to lift the bike up a bit. So in my particular case I don't use a ramp enough to warrant buying a hydraulic lift or anything like that so I sort of racked my brains and I thought well this is the best thing I could come up with that's quite cheap uh, all in all this cost me how much was it it's probably about about 40 pound I think 40 50 quid and basically it's, it's a sheet of plywood 18 mil ply piece of work top that I found in a skip and um, a couple hooks which I'll show you now so what I'm going to do what I wanted to do in the beginning was to show you it and I was going to make it as we sort of go along but in this case I've already made it I've already serviced my two bikes so I'm just going to do it in reverse order so um, first of all we got this ramp here which hooks onto the main board so you can ride up onto the board there and all that is, is a piece of worktop and it's just got these two hooks here which basically hook onto the ramp like so and underneath that we have this support here which is just to support the worktop in between the main platform and the ramp going up so that just supports it underneath obviously the hooks hook on so if you want to ride the bike up then at least then it's not going to fall away on the, the ramp won't fall away so that's that so i'm going to take that and put that there for now it um, took me, it didn't take long to build. I would say it was probably about a couple hours, I suppose. But I do fully appreciate that I am somebody who has all the tools, which is half the battle. Certainly the cutting equipment, which I use for something called a plunge saw, which is basically a circular saw that goes on a rail. Which is very very handy for things like this like i say for the sake of 50 quid i've been doing the bikes for the last couple days now and um yeah it's proved to be make life a lot easier so that's all that that is and that's the two hooks on the end there for the for the um what do you want to call them the hooks basically um so that's that, that comes from a full length of, uh, oh hello wifey, alright, you're putting me off my stride now, say hello. hello. Alright, and then all this is here is, you're gonna, I'm going to leave that in now, all this is here is the uh, struts here to support the centre stand on, on both bikes. And I found that that works for the Honda and the BMW and uh, 125s that I've recently had from Sinus. So that keeps it sturdy, stops it doing any of that. And um, as I say, that's exactly where the centre stand drops down onto the board. So that can come apart. I don't really think I need to show you anything else. So with one sheet of plywood, I managed to get a lift of about uh about about a foot yeah about 280 mil 300 mil something like that so all the screws go into the same place next time i make this uh platform up together what i've done is i put some spray paint just some old spray paint here and there that i've had and i put two on that side one on that side and then all the paint marks correspond with what i'm putting together so uh, at least it goes back together exactly as it was before just a quick video maybe it'll help some of you and like i say for the sake of 50 quid i'm going to flat pack this now till next year and that is what it flat packs into so that's it for this year thanks for watching subscribe and like if you would and uh, i'll see you next year when i'll be making this up again and i'll be servicing my bikes so as you can see useful uh, little platform there that is easy to store and i can just pack that away now out the way ready for the next one. Thanks guys, cheers.